Hi, I'm studying for my final and I'm stuck on two prompts. We are not allowed to use Lapidus rule, so I'm extremely lost. Let's take a look at this one first. We have the limit as x approaching zero of cos of 2x minus cos of x all over x. Again, law Lapidus rule. But we can use trig identities and trig limits. So the most direct way to use trig identities for this one is cos of an angle minus cos of the other. And let me write that down right here for you. If we have cos of an angle that's alpha minus cos of another angle that's a beta, this right here equals negative 2 times sine of alpha plus beta and then over 2 and then multiply by another sign here and this time you have alpha plus beta over 2. I know, hopefully you know, this identity will be provided on your final exam or similar ones. Okay, so let's see what we will get. We will have the limit as x approaching 0 and we have the x on the bottom. And for this right here, we will first just get negative 2 times sine. And then we do alpha plus beta. Alpha is 2x, beta is x. Together we add them, we get 3x and then over 2. Again, 2x plus x. And then one more. We have sine of alpha minus beta. So this right here should be a minus. Right? Minus. So 2x minus x. That will give us x and then over 2. So again, 2x minus x. All right, now this is very good. And what's even better is that we can actually use the following tools. So I will put down a note right here first. The first thing that we are going to use is the limit of a product. It's the product of the limits. So I'll write that down. If we have the limit, let's say as x approaching some number a of two functions, let's say f of x times g of x. This right here is equal to the limit as x approaching a of f of x. So do this first and then times the limit as x approaching a times of g of x and of course we have to you know have a condition the condition is that both of this must exist in order for this to be true right so the truth is we can actually just break it apart here we have a negative 2 we can put it on the outside that's okay so that we will have negative 2 and then the limit of this thing first maybe so i'll just say Let's take a look at the limit as x approaching 0 of here we have sine of 3x over 2 and let's just do it as over x and then times the limit as x approaching 0 just this which is sine of x over 2 and now we just have to figure out this and then figure out that if they both exist then we can just multiply them and that will be the answer now here's the deal this limit is actually very easy because we can just plug in 0 into this x and then we get sine of 0 over 2 which is just the same as sine of 0 and that will just be 0. Now, does that mean the whole thing will just be 0 because it's this times this times 0? No, we have to do it carefully because we have to make sure that this does not give us infinity or anything weird. So how can we figure this out? Well, here is another note. This is the limit. If we have an angle that's a theta approaching 0, and here if we have sine theta over theta, this right here is a standard result. We will just get 1. You can do a geometry proof on this, but please do not use Lapidus rule for this. So how can we use this to figure this out? Check this out. Notice the input here is 3x over 2. This is just x. What we can do is just on the top and bottom multiply by 3 over 2. How's that? And then we can call this to be theta. As x goes to 0, 3x over 2, well, the theta will also go to 0. So that is super nice. So all the way in the front, we still have that negative 2. And this 3 over 2 is just a constant multiple, so we can put it on the outside like so, 
And then for this limit, I'm just going to write here as the limit as theta approaching zero. And here we have sine of theta over theta. Again, theta is equal to 3x over 2. So perhaps I should write it down somewhere that theta equals 3x over 2 to make it look more legitimate. So in fact, this right here will give us 3 and then times this is just 1 because this is just that, right? So now we can just say because that is legitimately equal to 1, we have negative 2 times 3 over 2 times 1 times 0. So all in all, the answer is equal to 0. So that will be the answer for that limit. That's it.